On this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, Bob takes a look at South Carolina's Department of Natural Resources Youth Shooting Program. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature a fried mustard venison recipe. All this and a whole lot more. And it begins right now. That is catfishing from Sand Peak. Perfect Lake Hartwell Hyman. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at Chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. Pull it! Woo! Ah, Scott, what an array. I tell you what, man. Thank you so much for having us today. And, you know, I want to spend just a couple of minutes before we get to talk to our youth shooters. You need to tell me a little bit about, so all of our viewers out there know just how important this program has been and where it's come over 20 years. I mean, it's taken a long time for you guys to get this where it is, but it's exciting, and I want you to tell all the folks out there just how exciting it is. Oh, this program has grown by leaps and bounds. I mean, it's outgrown this present facility that we're at now, and we're in the process of building a new facility down the road from here on 800 acres. It's gonna have eight skeet and trap fields, much like the ones that you have here to be able to accommodate the growth of the program. Our program actually starts with sixth grade students and runs all the way through 12th grade, male and female. It is a co-ed sport, so they can either shoot on teams together or separate. And we separate clubs from schools so that they shoot in different divisions. But man, the program has really grown. Well, and the great thing is you're over all of this for the state of South Carolina, and you get to see it from that level up there to make sure that, that it is a first rate, and I know it is. And we're going to have some great youth shooters with us today to tell just how exciting they are um, and how, they, how much they want to be a part of this program. Okay, that sounds good. We focus on safety with the program, so the main purpose is safety and get them involved with the firearm sports in a safe manner, and then hopefully they can graduate and proceed forth into a hunting or fishing or some other outdoor activity. Well, let's go see some of these youth shooters. Right, let's go check them out. go good shooting Eddie good shooting oh, man awesome yeah you did good huh well look both of you all come over here and come over here Eddie it's a privilege and an honor to have you guys on our show today and I want to introduce both these two uh, young shooters here from Sumter South Carolina and I'll first do ladies okay um, and Weathers Blankenship from Sumter South Carolina and tell me a little bit about yourself how long you've been shooting in the high school that you shoot with so my name is Blankenship. I have been shooting for three years, and I'm on the Wilson Hall shotgun team in Sumter, South Carolina. Okay. Well, Eddie, I've got to turn to you. Um, you've been uh, obviously at the same school, okay? So uh, tell everybody where you're from and how long you've been shooting. I'm from Sumter, South Carolina, and I, uh, I've been shooting for three years, and I started sixth grade year at Wilson Hall. Well, I tell you what, both of you all are excellent shots. I know that you've shot in a lot of championships throughout uh, the DNR program, but Eddie, uh, how exciting is it for you to tell all your uh, classmates what you do on weekends? It's, it's pretty exciting coming in and telling them how I did and where, where I placed them on everybody else. And seeing their reactions pretty good. It makes you feel good when they're excited for you. I got you. And how about you? Do you share a lot of this with a lot of your classmates and try to convince others to join? I do, and I really love this sport, and I think it's an amazing opportunity to meet new people and to just, like, honestly have, like, a second family almost. Oh, that's awesome. I tell you what, it's great. Nice. And so nice. I want to tell you, folks, uh, Ann Weathers Blankenship and Eddie Donald from Sumter, South Carolina, they're part of the South Carolina DNR's uh, Scholastic Clay Sports Program. 
And I tell you what, we're going to talk to a couple of others uh, when we come back and just see what their focus is on this youth program that DNR has. And I tell you, we're also going to talk to Scott Stevens, and we're going to talk about some future plans that the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources have. They've got it all for all these kids all across the state. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia. By Upcountry South Carolina, Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country, Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Oh. Ah, nice break, Skylar. Nicely done, Skylar. Nicely done. Nice shooting. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to let Kaylee shoot a little bit now. All right, girls. Here we go. Don't make me look bad now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm. Nice shots. Way to break them, Kaylee. Way to break them. Thank you. Yeah. Folks, listen, this is a tough competition today. I'm going to introduce these two young ladies here, okay? But I tell you what, this, this, uh, this is going to be uh, a segment here. They, they, are, they are a lot more limber than us old guys, okay? All right, here we go. Pull it. Pull it. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I, figured, I thought you ladies were going to give me an alibi or a mulligan. No, you're not going to make, you're going to make me shoot them, aren't you? All right, pull it. Woo! 
Ooh, okay. I think I better stop there. Folks, let me introduce you to these two young ladies today. And, uh, and in this segment, I tell you what, it's, it's very important. Come on out of here. Don't be scared. Come out here in the sun. Get, get right in the middle, okay? Uh, I've got here on my right, I've got Skylar Riley. Uh, she is from up around Lake Murray, South Carolina. And I will tell you, and then I've got Kaylee Sigler here. She's from Aiken. These two young gals uh, shoot on the Lexington uh, 4-H uh, team over there, and they have. But I'm going to talk to you, Ka uh, Kaylee, first. Um, I know um, you are junior to her, okay, and I'm going to save the oldest for last. But you as a junior, what got you into this? Did, did Skylar get you talked into doing this? No, it was actually my dad. Oh, he really? convinced me to do it. Yeah. Great. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I love it. Uh, and how many kids shoot on your team? Uh, I think exactly 30. Oh, wow. That's great. Shooting in the state program, I mean, I know that's special mm -hmm. for you and all the, the youngsters, but kind of where have you ranked, uh, you know, within the shooting this um, year? It's generally closer to the top. Like, I've won a few competitions for highest overall in ski and sporting clays. So, yeah, it's okay. closer to the top. All right, well, one of these days you're going to graduate too, just like this young lady here on my right, and it's Skylar Riley. Um, you know, folks, you've seen her granddad on our show a lot, and he is the former director of Parks, Recs, and Tourism here for the state of South Carolina, and it's Buddy Jennings, and that's Skylar's grandfather. And, of course, he has been so great to bring you out today and to join us. But you've graduated, you've moved on, and you're going to go to college and be a nurse, I understand. Yes, sir. Now, are you going to give up all this? Because you are a championship shooter. Absolutely not. I plan on shooting as many circuit shoots as possible, and I just got my coaching license so that I can come back and help with the DNR shoots and all the youth shooting on the team that I was on. Well, I have to ask you, because I know you shot at the championship level and passed this year, um, and you always have, but where did you kind of end up? You were one, if not the top lady uh, youth shooter in the state, were you not? It was definitely close this year. We had good girls out there this year, but I was definitely up there with them. Well, uh, you know, how exciting is it for you to travel this? I know your dad's a coach. Um, uh, your Brad uh, Riley has, has been behind you all the way. And, yeah. you know, and I, I just tell you, is it exciting for you to have your dad travel and be your coach? Oh, absolutely. What's this program meant to you? This program is everything to me. I played sports throughout middle school, but this is what has stuck with me and has gave me good friends and family. And I couldn't, my life would not be the same without it. Well, I tell you what, you know, Scholar, it's it's just a privilege to have both of you young ladies here. And as you go on next year, and uh, what do you want to be? I know she wants to be a nurse. What do you want to um, do? I want to join the Navy and be a doctor. Oh, do you? Well, congratulations. That'll be that'll be awesome. And and I uh, just tell you, being a nurse, it's going to be uh, it's going to be rewarding. Uh, I know this program has meant so much to you, and I just got to thank both you young thank ladies you. as you go on. And it's so, uh, it's a pleasure, okay, to to have you guys out here and shoot and. Hey, look, what better place to do it than Watery Shooting Complex down here? Well, Scott, I tell you what, you've done well here by these young ladies, okay? And, and you know, I tell you what, Ann and Eddie both uh, in our previous segment, that's what you guys are after. But tell me a little bit about the future of the program because I mean, I know you're excited about it. All the folks here uh, at DNR are excited about where this scholastic program is going. It is, the program's really about positive youth development. And then, as you just said, it's like a family and we're about bringing all the kids together. They can socialize with one another, teach firearm safety at the same time, but bring it in a friendly atmosphere of competition. And it's, the program's just grown leaps and bounds. We do the um, sport and clay discipline, a skeet discipline, and the trap discipline. Well, I have to ask you the future, okay? And not okay. far from where we are right now, you've got an exciting, well, I tell you what, it's probably one of the most exciting things that this department has done in a long time. It is. When we acquired this facility here, the skeet and trap fields were already here, so we kind of rehabilitated them. But of course, there's only four skeet and trap fields here. But just about a half mile down the road, we purchased over 800 acres, 
we're building a big new complex down there with over eight skeet and trap fields, which will give us a total of 12 skeet and trap fields within a half mile of each other with a big pavilion. And that'll give us enough room to hold the growth and all the kids so we don't turn anybody away that's wanting to come see the kids. Stay tuned. When we come back from commercial break, we feature a South Carolina certified fried mustard venison recipe for you deer hunters. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 district is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. As a reminder from South Carolina DNR, entering and exiting in the wake zone, you should be no more than out of speed. Anything more than that is a violation. This has been another safety tip from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, Power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. Every boat operator has a responsibility to maintain a proper lookout to avoid a collision. This means looking out for other boats, other people in the water, and hazards in the water. This has been another safety tip from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to this week's Sportsman's Table, folks. Joining me from the Phillips Market at the South Carolina Farmers Market here in Columbia, South Carolina is Ansley Turnbled. She is the coordinator for the Certified SC Grown Program and Fresh on the Menu. We've never had her on the show, and I'm excited, Ansley, because this recipe, I know all the viewers out there are gonna like, and your family loves it too. That's right, Bob, thank you so much for having me today. Um, I have been with the Department of Ag for a long time, and this is my first time on your show, so yeah. thank you for, for having me. Um, uh, cube steak, we're gonna cook venison cube steak, so we're gonna marinate it in the mustard and vinegar base for a couple hours. Um, you know, we, this is, uh, something that we cook about once a month in my house. Deer meat, here's our marinade with mustard and vinegar. Okay. You know, you can measure this out if you like, but I just kind of wing it. You just want to cover the, yeah, the yeah. venison, um, yeah. make sure it all gets coated. Then we're going to take it out and we're going to dip it in the batter, or the flour. Remember, this is Adlu. Adlu Ad flour, it's got to be Adlu. Oh yeah. And just, just make sure it gets all, all coated nice and well. Shake it off a little bit, put it in our deep fryer here, drop it down. Now, normal degrees, how long? Uh, you know, I usually do it 375 um, or as hot as it can get. Uh, so I just do it on high. I got so you. Uh, about three or four minutes, um, we're gonna watch it. Um, it'll pop a little bit, so be careful. Shake it around, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of your fryer. Sometimes it will with that flour. Um, and then once it's done, we're gonna put it on a platter, let it cool off for a minute and serve it with some South Carolina grown Lady peas and South Carolina grown rice. I was going to ask you because again, we've got vinegar, we've got mustard, we've got golden rice. Uh, you, you just got it all. We do. I try and keep all our meals local. Uh, I can't wait till this is I done. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bob. I think we're ready here. I'm oh. gonna take it out of the oil and awesome. uh, put it on some paper towels to let it uh, cool off and drain some of that oil off. 
Um, it's, it's no wonder the family loves that. Okay, I, I know we already got one set. This, you got to talk about this beautiful plate here, okay? I, I know what that is. Talk about the rest of it. Yes, um, and this is if you're really hungry. So, um, so this would be a plate I would serve my husband after a long day of working on the farm. But um, <laughs> he's got some mustard fried veggies in here, uh, some lady peas growing right down the road. Right. Um, and some South Carolina grown Carolina plantation rice and some homemade chow chow. So oh my goodness. whole plate is South Carolina grown. So it is. And thank you so much. And I tell you what, we appreciate all that you do you for all of the folks in thank this great you. state. Thanks for being a guest today. And folks, remember, as always, it's a matter of taste. Log on to certifiedsc.com and see what's fresh on the menu. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. A good hunting safety tip is when you're hunting from an elevated stand to use a haul line to get your bow or your rifle to the stand and out of the stand, but remembering to keep the muzzle of the rifle down at all times. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. To safely cross an obstacle like a fence, unload your firearm, cover the muzzle, place the firearm on the other side of the fence, cross the fence, reload, and continue your hunt. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Chevrolet, find new roads with Chevrolet. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District. And by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. Welcome back, folks. Well, as promised, our third segment and final for today, I've challenged our youth shooters to see how well they can do against Scott and I. <laughs> and I tell you what, this is an 80 foot tower shot and it is two formidable targets, okay? So I've asked these young shooters and they're gonna go first. We're each gonna get uh, two shots and see how well we do. And then at the conclusion of the segment, we'll see who, uh, well, who's champion the winner here, okay? With that, all right, and you're first up. You gonna pull for him? Yes. All right, I'm take care okay. of him. <laughs> I'm just going to see how well they do. Oh. Woo! Good shot. And got him. Okay, next shooter. All right. Man, this tough. This is going to look like some tough competition here. Okay. Yeah, I know it. All hey, right. Keep, keep that up. I might have to next just Next up is Skyler. And I, I tell you what, 80, 80 feet in the air. I mean, this oh. is... A, Okay. Good job. All right, good job. All right, who's next? All right, Eddie, you're up. Oh, 
You know, I try not to be nervous, mm -hmm. you know, but it's inevitable. <laughs> Pull. Okay. There are four targets and two miss. Okay. All right. Here we go. And here comes Kaylee. All right, Kaylee. Pull. Nicely done, Kaylee. Nicely done. Nice shoot. Okay. All right. Scott, you want to go and I'll pull? All right, here we go. Let's see. Now, we, we're going to have to run the table. Oh, gosh. That, that's probably not going to be a problem for you. Okay. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> I'll, work and, I'll work and no play. Okay. Uniform up. All right. Trapper ready. Pull. Go ahead. Woo, nice, nice hit, nice hit. Okay, mm. all right. Let me grab mine. Man, the pressure's on. Mm, mm, mm. And folks, you know from seeing past shows how I hate this target. <laughs> Although it's a good one, okay? It'll trust, it, it, it trust me, it, it, it'll, it will make you talk to yourself. Okay. All right, Scott, here we go. Put. Come on back over here, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I guess we have to concede, huh? Oh, yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah, okay. The youth well, has us. I will tell you. You know, folks, I tell you, these young shooters here uh, from Sumter, uh, Aiken, and over on Lake Murray, South Carolina, um, this is really the future of the outdoors, and I can't stress that enough. And, you know, Scott, I tell you what. For all that you guys do, DNR Law Enforcement, and what you do with this program, uh, I just have to tell you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And I know our viewers out there as well. So, um, you know, I know you've got some great things coming up. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a great opportunity for a lot of these youngsters to shoot behind them. Tell when the season starts again. Our season will start in December, and that starts with our open events. Our skeet open is in December, trap open is in January, and then we have a skeet and trap championship in February and a sporting clay championship in March. And then we do a Southeastern combine, which will be in Mississippi this year, which will be our best shooters from the state going to Mississippi. And if folks want to log on, they either want to come view or they want to try and get their youngster in the program somewhere, tell them how they can get a hold of you. It's www.dnrshoots. Dot com. Okay, folks, there you have it, and you'll also have it on Bob's Top 16. But as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great episode of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. And i got to shake your hand, okay? Scott, Eddie, enjoyed it. thank you very much. Thank Skyler, you. best of luck to being a nurse. And thank Kaylee, you. I tell you what, all of you all have got some great things coming up for the next year. So Godspeed, God bless you all, and I tell you what, thank you very much. Thank we'll you. see you next week.